Hello students, welcome back to SRM Biology classes. Today I will going to explain with reference to the main important features involving the diversity in the living world. The Earth is the one of the only planet which supports wide variety of life forms. It includes both microscopic and also macroscopic organisms. It includes microscopic and also macroscopic organisms. In an valid terminology, the biodiversity is defined as the variety of life forms on the surface is called biodiversity. It is also designated as the totality of plant and the animal forums, the totality of the plant and the animal or animals on the earth surface will constitute biodiversity, will constitute biodiversity. Because of the presence of various types of habitats on the earth surface, because of the presence of variety of habitats on the earth surface, you can find the presence of variety of life forms on the a surface. You can find the presence of variety of life forms on the a surface. About 1.7 to 1.8 million, about 1.7 to 1.8 living organisms are subjected to systematic identification, classification and naming. Still, innumerable number of microorganisms are yet to know or yet to know about 1.7 to 1.8 million living organisms. And the Adinyolakshadinda Adinento Laksha Vai Vidya Maiva Danta Vandu Jiva Sampato Nama Bumi Melidanta Vito Tumba systematic again identify Madidri classification Madidri Matu Adike Nama Karadana Madidri and Tanda Nivan Ata Markamodo Yi Bumi Jiva Vai Vidya Agaravane Walagon Vide. On the earth surface, you can find the presence of variety of living organisms. They vary in size, shape, structure, color, even with the voice, you can find the presence of variety of life forum. As we explore new areas, as we explore new areas, you can get variety of living organisms. You can find the presence of variety of new living organisms. In order to understand the classification, identification and naming of living organisms, we need the essentiality of a classical branch of biology. The name of classical branch of biology is called taxonomy. In a valid terminology, the taxonomy is defined as the branch of biology which deals with the branch of biology that deals with identification, classification, classification and Nomenclature of living organisms or naming of living organisms is called taxonomy. The branch of biology which deals with identification, nomenclature and classification of living organisms is called taxonomy. The term taxonomy was coined by A.P. Dickandall. was coined by A.P. Decantel in the year 1813. The taxonomy is also designated as systematics. It is derived from the, it is derived from the Latin terminology systema refers to Systema refers to the systematic arrangement of living organism. Systema refers to the systematic 
arrangement of the systematic arrangement of living organism the systematic arrangement of living organisms is purely designated as systema is purely designated as systema with reference to the taxonomy the taxonomy is purely uh, depends upon or is purely based on the external and the internal characters in the external and in the internal characters based on the similarities and dissimilarities are taken into consideration in addition to this the type of the cell structure the type of the reproduction and the type of the evolutionary relationship the type of the evolutionary relationships are taken into consideration for the classification identification and for the nomenclature of the living organism for the nomenclature of the living organisms in environmental terminology the taxonomy is defined as the classification identification and nomenclature of living organisms is called taxonomy the identification is defined as the determination of unknown species the determination of unknown species by comparing with known species by comparing with known species is called identification the determination of unknown species by comparing with the known species is called identification the nomenclature is defined as the correct naming of the correct naming of identified organism the correct naming of identified organism is called nomenclature namgu aste namkarana martare to identify the living organism to identify the living organism we need the essentiality of nomenclature the correct naming of identified organism is called nomenclature the organisms are named according to rules rules of international code of botanical nomenclature the international code of botanical nomenclature is the supreme authority in naming of the plant species in naming of the plant species for the naming of animals international code of zoological nomenclature popularly abbreviated as iczn international code of zoological nomenclature is the uh, authority for the naming of the animal species on the surface according to uh, icbn and iczn the correct naming of the living organisms are Uh, achieved on the a uh, surface the last important aspect is called classification in environmental terminology the classification is defined as the grouping of organism based on the various common characters gotakta idiyala nodi manushralle ellarallonu ashte you can find the presence of two hands two legs two eyes ಆ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಎಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರಿ ಆಫ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸಮ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀರಿ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀರಿ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫೈನ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಗ್ರೂಪಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸಮ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ this is with reference to the basic definitions in the identification classification and nomenclature of the living organism what is the need of uh, classification identification and naming of living organism as i earlier said you can find the presence of variety of plants and animal species on the earth surface based on the geographical area people use it to designate the particular plant and uh, animal uh, species based on the local names based on the local names these local names they vary from 
place to place or from one geographical area to another geographical area. So, it leads to various confusions. It leads to various confusions. One day species na, nura on the bashanale, ber bere esanale na identify madre, avon the communication nale, tumbane problem bartha to, haga ge the uh, nomenclature processes came into existence. In order to avoid the confusions, let the standardization of the taxonomy let to the naming of the living organism. Yes, there is a need for standardization in the naming of living organism in which, in which a particular organism is identified in the single name. Particular organism is identified in the single name across the globe, across the world. This correct naming of identified organism, the correct naming of identified organisms is called nomenclature. In order to avoid the confusions, the nomenclature processes came into existence in order to communicate the plant and animal species. The next important aspect is with reference to binomial nomenclature. As the name indicates, binomial refers to by refers to two. Nomial refers to nomenclature. In a valid terminology, the binomial nomenclature is defined as the naming of organisms scientifically. The naming of organisms uh, na naming of organisms scientifically by using two names the first name is genus name and the second name is species name is called binomial nomenclature the naming of an organism scientifically by using two names such as genus name and Species name is called binomial nomenclature. The term binomial nomenclature was discovered by Gaspard Bohin. Was discovered by Gaspard Bohin in the year 1623. The set of rules and regulations. The set of rules and regulations for the binomial nomenclature was made by Carolus Linnaeus in the year 1758. In the year 1758, Carolus Linnaeus framed set of rules and regulations. In addition to this, he popularized the scientific naming of living organism by using two names, namely genus and species. Such a unique contribution was made by Carolus Linnaeus. One of the classical examples for binomial nomenclature is the scientific name of mango. The scientific name of mango is Mangifera indica. The first name is generic name. The second name is species name. The second name is species name. Another classical example is the scientific name of man is Homo sapiens. The scientific name of man is Homo sapiens. Homo is the generic name. Sapiens is the species name. Sapiens is the species name. The scientific names ensures that each organism as only single name. As only single name. The scientific names are based on the agreed principles, agreed rules and regulations of the ICBN or ICZN. 
it is strictly under the rules and regulations of the icbn and icz the correct naming the correct binomial nomenclature of the living organisms were made the next important aspect is with reference to the rules of binomial nomenclature the rules of binomial nomenclature rules of binomial nomenclature with reference to the set of rules and uh, uh, regulations of binomial nomenclature all the rules and regulations are made by Carolus Linnaeus because of this unique characteristic feature Carolus Linnaeus was popularly designated as father of binomial nomenclature father of binomial nomenclature with the binomial nomenclature for the first time he identified more than 5000 different varieties of plants and animals because of this unique characteristic feature, Carolus Linnaeus was popularly designated as father of binomial nomenclature. The first rule of binomial nomenclature states that the scientific name of organism, it mainly consists of two names. The first name is the generic name and the second name is the species name. The first name is the genus name and the second name is species name. The second rule states that the genus name should be written first followed by the species name. The genus name should be written first whereas the species name should be written in the second. Should be written in the second. For example, the scientific name of mango is Mangifera indica. The generic name should be written first, whereas the species name should be written in the second. The next rule states that the genus name should begin with initial capital letter. The species name, the species name should be initiated with small letter. Should be initiated with small letter. At the time of writing the scientific name of the living organism, the starting letter of the or the initial letter of the genus should be in the capital. The initial letter of the species in the small letter. The next rule states that the scientific name should be derived from Latin language. Should be derived from Latin language should be derived from Latin language. Why Latin language is widely employed in the scientific names? Because the Greek and the Latin languages are dead languages. Both Greek and Latin are the dead languages. You can't incorporate new words into the. You can't incorporate new wasa wasa words na. Such a dead languages are called Latin and Greek. In naming of the, in scientific naming of the living organisms, the terminologies are derived from Latin language. The next important rule states that both the names should be printed in italics. You typing computer the scientific name it should be printed in italics or it should be underlined or it should be underlined separately or it should be underlined separately if it is in handwritten if it is in the handwritten 
the generic and the species name should be underlined separately. Should be underlined separately. Another important rule states that if an organism is known by more than one scientific name, is more than one scientific name, then the first name become the valid name. The first name become the valid name and the remaining names becomes parallel names or synonyms. The author who describes the living organism for the first time, they become valid name. The remaining names become synonyms or they become parallel names. They become parallel names. The next important aspect is the name of the taxonomist who describes the species for the first time. Yaar motta mulle barige how in the living organisms na identify maadi nomenclature maadta no the first time no de the name of the taxonomist who describes the species for the first time is also written after the name of the species. The scientific name for the mango was given by Carolus Linnaeus. At the end of the species, the author's citation is abbreviated. For the first time, the scientific name for the mango was given by Carolus Linnaeus. Yes, the author name is cited. The author name is cited or author name is abbreviated and it is cited and it is cited. The next important uh, rule for the scientific naming of living organism is a scientific name with the same words used for the genus and the species. Such a type of binomial names are called tautonyms. Are called tautonyms. In case of tautonyms, the generic name and the species name remains same. The scientific name of cobra is Naja Naja. In case of cobra, the generic name and the species name remain same. Another classical example for the tartar names is the gorilla. The scientific name of gorilla is gorilla gorilla. Gorilla, gorilla. In case of gorilla, the generic name is gorilla. Even the species name is also gorilla. Are the two classical examples for Tata names. Classical example for Tata names. The next important aspect is the species concept. Species concept. The term species was discovered by John Ray. Was first discovered by John Ray. The species is the basic unit of classification. The species is the basic unit of classification. In invalid terminology, the species is defined as a group of genetically similar organisms. A group of genetically similar organisms which can freely interbreed among themselves to produce fertile offsprings. To produce fertile offsprings is called species. A group of genetically similar organisms which can interbreed among themselves to produce fertile offsprings is called 
spaces with reference to the important characters of spaces the members of the spaces belongs to local population the members of the spaces belongs to local population they shows complete anatomical similarities manusha yenaru consider madidre ellarallo you can find the presence of in case of adult human beings you can find the presence of total number of 206 bones you can find the presence of total number of 206 bones that means see they show complete anatomical similarities with reference to the size shape and the number of chromosomes in the local population are same in all the members in case of human beings the chromosome number remains same to the decimal to 46 they have similar genetic material they have similar genetic material in case of human beings in case of human beings the dna is the master molecule the dna is the genetic material the dna is the genetic material another important salient feature of the spe uh, species is we are all derived from the common ancestor namellara ancestor ro africa dalli idare we are all derived from the common ancestors they resemble one another with reference to the chemistry of the protein lipid enzymes hormones and given with the structure they exhibits close similarity close similarity the members of the species can interbreed among them just to produce fertile offspring to produce fertile offspring just to continue the progeny to the next generation in order to exhibit variations not exhibit variations this is with reference to the set of characters naturally seen in case of species seen in case of species the next in the next class i will going to explain with reference to the taxonomical categories and taxonomical hierarchy or linnean hierarchy thank you thank you very much once you go through the study material and prepare your own running notes at the time of viewing the video classes please optimize the video clarity in addition to this take the initials take the initials in order to obtain the script of the voice script of the voice with reference to the multiple choice questions with reference to the multiple choice questions the first question states that the determining whether a collected organism is entirely new or already known is called we have four options nomenclature identification classification and characterization if the organism is already known it is subjected to identification the correct answer is identification the second question states that the number of species that are known and described range it normally range in between 1.7 to 1.8 million species of life forms are subjected to systematic identification the science of the next question the science of giving names to living beings called nomenclature the scientific naming of 
living organisms is called nomenclature. ICBN expanded as International Code for Botanical Nomenclature. Botanical Nomenclature. This is with reference to few important um, MCQs questions. I will put a PDF. Try to answer. Try to answer. Thank you. Thank you very much.